Hey guys, Dave Draper for Toy World Order. Uh, recently we've been asked by a couple of fans to show off a little bit more of my collection. So I thought I'd show uh, some of my new arrivals, uh, some new pieces that showed up. Look, it's Steve from Minecraft. I've been playing a lot of Minecraft lately. And uh, this little guy here, he's the main character. Hey, uh, what, what, what is that behind you? It comes from an egg, an egg at Target. No, no, literally behind you. Oh, that's, that's nothing. Don't worry about that. Hey guys, welcome to an all new video from uh, myself and Dave Draper here on ToyWorldOrder.com. This is, uh, what is, wow. what? Way to, way to theme. What? Oh, that's because I didn't wear my hat and that was the only thing you had laying around that I could wear. Okay, well here, we'll just take that off there. Oh. Now as you can see, we've got the, uh, the the katana, the Java sail barge from yeah. Haslab that Hasbro uh, basically kickstarted, so Crowd to speak. Crowdfunded, yeah. Crowdfunded this sucker. Haslab, Haslab, I guess, will be the, right. the verb in the future. Uh, they kickstarted this sucker because, let's face it, it's one of the largest uh, Star Wars one of. Uh, there's been several, but... Uh, um, no, 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 no. I have been collecting Star Wars from the start. Show me the bigger toy. Well, I, well, I guess not. not Show not, me the bigger toy. Not the size, but there's Jason. Why are we putting this in my basement? Well, because you're because my car door would not close. That's true. To get this in the car. That's true. We couldn't get this to my house. This is to the do, beast. Do this. Uh, this isn't going to be your normal review. Uh, we're not going to go into depth, go into detail on a lot of it. We'll show a little bit. We'll show a little bit of it, but it was really one of those things where it's it's just too cool not to share. Um, you know, we didn't want to be a, a, just another random voice in the. In the, the the sea of uh, Java sail barge reviews floating around on YouTube, uh, uh, again, there's a maximum of ten thousand. Yes, but uh, I, I figured we'd at least talk about some of it because it's a friggin' cool toy. I mean, for those of you that missed out, uh, Big Bad Toy Store had it for fifteen hundred bucks. It's yeah, gone about about twelve hundred. About twelve hundred. Yeah, but it's, it's sold gone. out. Yeah, gone. Um, yeah, they're showing up on eBay. at toy shows. I know C two E two this year they were showing up and they were fifteen hundred dollars. Uh, Which is the going bad, rate? Actually. Nope. Uh, this was five hundred dollars originally. So yes, yes. yes. Uh, and there's lots of people who bought multiples of them. Uh, I, know with, I know that I, there's one guy that's all over Facebook that, that has like six. Yeah, I bought like six of them. Which, well, I mean, he's gonna make his money back. Let's be honest, not right okay. away. But um, I mean, it's really cool. I mean, think about it. The, the box here. Um, of course, we're not we're not gonna unbox it. Dave's already got to unbox it. It's out yeah, of the way. Yeah, we'll we'll the, put it down. We're, we're totally Julia childing. Uh, but I have to say the fact that. You know the the box is this big. I mean, standing on its end, tall wise, it's almost comes up to my shoulder. Yeah, pretty much. About as tall as your wife. Ah, uh, yeah, and carries can't tighten. Yeah, wow. uh, it, it's it's a very cool box. So it's it's very neat, very cool. Um, get, get, get Steve out here, Steve. Steve stand over here. There you go. Um, Creeper. The, well, uh, I love the fact that this has the Kinder logo on it. Yeah, it's a, it's a, it's a vintage, it's a style, vintage box. style box, which is beautiful, which is amazing. Um, this is the kind of vehicle that we wish we would have had when the vintage line was out, but it would have been nowhere near as cool. No, it would not have. No. Um, I love that the top of it, of course, shows you all of uh, some Little of features. the features and such. Um, you've got the... Uh, let's see if I can do this. Is it going to be right side up or upside down? Let's see. Oh, it's going to be right side up. you got some more details of the ship on the, the bottom of the box. As well as that gorgeous uh, line art, line art that's that's there on, on the, the front. Back. Yeah, oh, that's, oh, that's on the back. I'll turn it. Ooh. Ooh. I hope you all put in your 3D glasses. <laughs> and of course, the amazing line art on the back. Uh, just again, like Dave said, it's a vintage style box, so very much in the vein of vintage. It is in the vein of vintage. So uh, beautiful, beautiful box. Let's just okay. Let's not because Yak Face is over here. <laughs> that's a good idea. Um, okay, let's uh, you stand that sucker on end there. There we go. Dave's got it. Dave's got it. Now, what's great was not only did it come with the sail barge, it also came with an exclusive carded Star Wars Power of the Force Yak Face that actually has the Power of the Force collector coin on there, which is kind of cool. Um, now, of course, Yak Face was one of the um, final Power of the Force figures. I think. He was he was the final Power of the Force figure who was not actually released in the States. Yes, he was. Or if he was, he was very limited. Very limited. Mostly these are found on Trilogo cards. Yeah, in Canada. In Canada, the UK. That. Yeah. Um, so having this on this style card uh, in a modern figure is really cool. It's, it's a neat, yeah. uh, it's a very neat idea by Hasbro to do this. Of course, they minted an all-new coin for it. 
Um, and again, with only being 10,000 of them, Dave will well, not they, open they are, He is in the next wave of vintage figures, but yes. I, I, I'm assuming it's a different kind of card. Yeah, it won't be like, this style card. Dog hair all over everything. Oh, man. <laughs> Dave's dog's crazy hair Shits, everywhere. Yeah. But it's a beautiful, beautiful piece. I mean, it's it's really neat that they, they did this. So, uh, and of course, I, Dave doesn't have any of those carded around. So, what, um, yak faces? No, I mean... Just, I got a whole just, bin of them, yeah. Just Power of the Force too. So I, I saw I saw one of those at the Star Wars auction go for all the money. Yeah, well, that doesn't surprise me. But then we come <clears throat> to the Beast. We're going to cut for that one. Because <laughs> Dave doesn't want me to pick it up myself. Because we've all seen what happens when oh, DeVal Lord. touches Dave's toys. <laughs> Bad things, terrible things probably happen. So we're going to let Dave get it down. So if he drops it, it's on him because it's his $500 toy, not this guy's. <laughs> now i got to say this thing is magnificent. I mean, it's truly an epic piece of collectible toy history at this point. Um, because, again, there were only 10,000 of these suckers made. And... Um, Hasbro was pretty successful with this venture, so I would assume that they will do more, although they still never announced what their next Hazlab project will be. Well, to be fair, they just fulfilled this one. True, yeah. but you would think that they're kind of working ahead uh, for the future. I'm sure they have some. Maybe they'll announce that at a celebration. Celebration, it's possible. But then again, thinking about it, what else could they do? Oh, well, I, you know, my theory Rebel was... Rebel Blockade Runner? Rebel, Rebel Blockade Runner. Yeah. Wow, that's a mouthful. Yeah, which would be another big... Be, well, I mean, if you do it right, it would be big. Yeah, it'd be a large ship. And that's another one that we've never gotten as Star Wars fans. No, we came close. Yeah, we came very close. To a very Kennerized one. Yeah, but. yeah. Uh, this thing's amazing, though. I mean, you've got fabric sails, yes. which are cool. Um, and they're, you know, they're they're really well done. Did you have to string those when you put it together? Yes. Yeah, which I'm sure David was very scared to do. No, it's great when you have to bend that plastic <laughs> mast piece. <laughs> Makes David very, very nervous. Now, the top level has... Uh, moving guns, so the guns... Yeah, and they're, they they pop out, like you can see little holes in the railing. Yeah, you can pop them out and pop move them. Pop them around. Um, you've got your big gun down in here. Yeah. The big cannon that uh, Leia Aiming gets on. the deck. Yeah, that Leia gets on and shoots. Um, there's a little trap door on the top here. There are several places that open up. That slide open at the top for um, characters to come up out of or to pose them in. Uh, you know, the top floor alone is pretty amazing. And it is designed, we kind of pre. You're supposed to take off the sails if you're going to play on the deck. Oh, I got you. So it just pops uh, up. That one I haven't pre done. Oh, gotcha. So leave it alone. Gotcha. Uh, and then one of the things is like a couple of these guys are actually pretty old, but they release these figures. Um, this Nikto. Ah, yeah. Um, this Nikto. Um, this Nikto. And their guns are designed to clip on. To clip on to the right. Uh, <laughs> which is which is interesting that Hasbro had the four. Well, but I guess again. Yeah, you try to do this backwards. These were, uh, you know, these. I were, think they were planning on clipping on something. Yeah, these were based, and they used these in the film too, I believe, right? Yeah, they, yeah, yeah. You see them running up and like attaching guns yeah, to the rail. So it makes sense. But then Hasbro to force had the foresight to to make these clippable yeah. to those rails. Which Dave has got the one clipped yeah. on. So which they don't, is, they don't quite clip perfectly. No, which is pretty darn cool. I mean, it's neat that they, you know, there was a lot of thought put into this amazing, amazing piece of toy. Um, the cockpit up front can fit two figures. They can fit in the driver's seat. They can drive the barge. I mean, there's all kinds of like. I'm gonna put them on the trap door um, for when. Oh yeah, we, yeah. we play yeah, with it later. Yeah, we play with it later. Um, of course, Jabba's got his. Uh, he got his throne room his there. Yep. Where you can watch. Um, there's a kitchen down here. There's a jail cell with the which the trapdoor falls into. With an Elthorian Ithor skeleton. Yep. Yep. Uh, which is pretty neat. Uh, there's a, an armory down there where you can actually there are molded weapons on the wall, but you can actually hang weapons on it. Yeah. Which is pretty cool. Um, some of these. What are these side walls? Uh, there's a lot of like little sculptures of. Yeah, uh, like weird. Like there's there's an issue tib here. There's a Gamorrean and a Rancor, a little tiny Rancor bronze on the on the on the walls of, of the uh, throne room, which is pretty neat. These windows 
on the sides there. The slats open. The slats open for characters to kind of poke out and shoot. Yeah, that was another those, famous moment. So the guy pop the weak way pops out and yep. Luke grabs him and throws Luke him. Luke grabs him and throws him. So that window those, doesn't open so good. Those so pops we're not going to play with that one. Which one? This this big one. It doesn't open so uh, good. I guess it doesn't, does it? There is a big one here uh, that is designed that's supposed to yeah, that's, that's supposed to open. As you can see, I kinda I'm not gonna I'm not gonna force it because again it's David's toy. Uh, but that's really like the only big one on the side because these all go on this side too. Yeah, obviously we, we open it off. Up so yeah. you can see the So there is only one big one on this whole play set that opens up. Everything else on this are all small windows, small slats that actually will open up so you can put characters' guns and stuff out of them, which is kinda neat. Um, the sail barge has got two little sail fins on the side and they just they pivot, which is kind yeah, of I believe they're steering vanes. Steering vanes, yeah. And they pivot thur. Thur. Uh, I mean overall it's 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 really a, an amazing piece to add to any Star Wars collection. I mean there's so much to it. It's very cool. It like is, they, they really yes, it cost a fortune, but I think they really outdid themselves. Oh yeah, no, they they did. I mean this even as somebody who's not a Star Wars collector um, who's just a casual Star Wars fan and has been since you know thirty casuals since the you know since the eighties. Um, this is a really cool piece of 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 this is a really cool toy. I mean, it really is an amazing, amazing piece that Hasbro and, uh, produced for Haslab. So I mean, I know Dave's very happy with it. It's got its own place on top of the shelf that's just to my right here, which is where Dave pulled it down from very precariously. <laughs> um, which was very interesting to watch from afar because I didn't want to be anywhere near him if he dropped it. No offense, big guy. Yeah, that wasn't going to happen. Yeah. Uh, but it's amazing. And again, I'm super curious to see what they do in the future. If they do another Star Wars thing, you know, people, you know, Joe fans are already clamoring for a flag. For a flag and it's defiant, like, yeah. ah, hey, guys, I I don't know if the, the support is there for those. Well, I mean, that it's a it's a crowdfunding thing, so if the support isn't there, it won't get made. That's true. But the thing Can't is... Can't wait for Ross on that one. The thing is, is they, they have to at least sculpt the prototype for this sucker. I mean, they... Do they? they well, yeah, they pretty much I, had I mean, all the work the, done. We got the book. I don't know. Maybe they did it out of cardboard. Uh, I'm pretty no, sure... No one will be seated as I... Yeah, as Dave flips through the book that was shipped this past August... Uh, with it, which is a lot of a lot of production drawings right, from the we got, film, yeah, we got a lot of, um, a lot of okay, shots this, from the film, this is, this is uh, all, some production of the I actual. I thought this was toy. about the toy. This no, is what, it's I, about this what all I, of I it. get for not paying attention. Yes, that's what Dave gets. For I don't want to read it. I didn't not actually I, looking at I, it. I didn't want to like make it not <laughs> meant. But I mean, they did a lot of 3D visualizing. Yeah, with you can it. do that. You can do that um, with the with the. And they flag. did. They did produce when they crowd when they when they kicks when they send it up for crowdfunding they did have a physical version of it that they had created uh for the sheer fact to to give everyone a visual idea of what was going to be included in it so it could still be uh, cardboard yeah it could still be cardboard but uh it's 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 neat i mean it's it's very cool well they don't say one way or the other if you have if you've missed it of course if you don't own one you're not completely out of luck people are selling them out there but whether or not you want to spend the extra thousand dollars thousand bucks point. on it that's what made me buy it was the I mean obviously I'm a I'm a Star Wars fan. This is really cool. I, the the thing that really made me buy it was the thought that what if down the road I have to have it and you know right. and, and god forbid it's like an eBay thing, you know. So so I got in on this one I, I bit the bullet and paid the 500 bucks. I can't imagine what shipping of one of these would be off of eBay. I mean, it's got to be... Oh, it's got to be monstrous. They would they would probably be... The shipping alone had to been a fortune for Hasbro. And I can't imagine what the resellers are going to do for shipping it. Um, I don't know if I've seen any of them actually have shipping costs on them. that I, I didn't really look. I but, didn't really look. Uh, but again, I mean, Dave's got a, a, a boxed flag on his shelf that he had shipped that was pretty expensive to ship. Yeah. So I can only imagine a, a box that's... Uh, almost five feet tall. Um, it's just mind-boggling. I was shipped FedEx. So. so it's lucky it got here. Okay, we have different package experiences then. We really do. My mail ends up in a little place called Hazelwood, Missouri, where, where it stays. Things, where things vanish sometimes. Yeah. But gang, I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, our, our thoughts and this little look at the Java Sail Barge. Uh, it is a very, very cool toy. Uh, I'm sure there's going to be people being like, "Why didn't you just completely review it?" What is it? It's, it's great. It never it's cool. has to be a review. Like we never. You should go out and buy it right now. Oh wait, you can't. Except for eBay. What's interesting about 
how we're wanting to go forward is I don't always okay, want to do. Okay, now we're now I'm now saying, now we're going full home improvement. I'm just saying I don't always. This want isn't to do just reviews. about toy improvement. It's also about man improvement. Yeah, I, I don't I don't want to do always do reviews. I just want to give you guys a look at stuff. Like it doesn't always have to be a review. It just has to be like, look at this cool toy. Here's some shots of it. Here's us talking about it because we're two forty year old men going. This is amazing because we're still six in our heads. Sure. Well, like the toys came out when I was seven. I'm still Sir. six in our heads. Alright. <laughs> Gang, hope you enjoyed it. Check us out. Go to youtube.com slash Absolutely Total recommend. Order. You should buy this. Go sell, to, sell blood. Go to youtube.com slash Total Order. Hit subscribe. Mash the like button. Hit the little bell so you'll be notified when we do new reviews uh, and new videos coming up. Uh, make sure you check out the podcast where Dave and I have uh, tens and tens of listeners. Dozens. Dozens. Go to David Duvall's Toys and Collectibles on ToyBuildOrder.com. Check out every episode we've done almost, uh, at this point, 354, I think. It's getting up there. Yeah. It's getting up there. Um, I haven't decided when we're going to retire, but it's it's getting Aww. there. Aw. We're never going to retire. Even if I'm on my deathbed and Dave's gone, I'm still going to talk to his ghost. All right. That'll be weird. That'll be psychosis. So anyway. Gang, take care, and uh, we'll see you next time, man, David. Keep playing with your own toys. Oh, but I like playing with yours because you buy all the cool toys and I don't. Because I'm broke. Are we done? Can you get out of my basement now? Damn, yeah, I get Jesus, you, you suck. Has anyone ever told you how mean you are? Yes, repeatedly. God. Meanie McMeanerson. <laughs>